Well, 50, 59 was a pretty good year for me, and I'd, I'd done a lot of races. I can't remember how many now, but probably 30 or 40. And uh, I, re I remember driving along, and for some reason, um, they got me to stop. And of course, I didn't know what it was all about. I think I was shocked. I can't remember what, exactly why. Um, whether another car pulled in front of us, I can't remember what ever happened. And I, and I seem to remember that I probably shouted out, what the hell are you doing? Eamon Andrews, and he had this big book, you know, this is your life, and all that sort of stuff. It was a complete surprise, I must say. I had no idea. Now, and then they brought in people, I mean, who, of course, I knew very well, but quite a lot of them I hadn't seen for a long time. Uh, I seem to remember Miss Shaw, uh, who had been teaching me. It's not, <laughs> she'd been, I, I can't remember who, who, who what, what, uh, lessons I took with her, because I wasn't very good at school. So I was surprised she agreed to come on, actually. <laughs> yeah, my mother was obviously, was, wasn't happy, which I could understand, because motor racing then was very dangerous. And, you know, we used to lo lose three or four drivers a year. And uh, so, therefore, she hoped that, you know, I'd give it up. Lance Macklin, of course, um, he's sort of a very smooth character, you know, and, and, uh, and he's, he was, I think, 31 or 32, against my whatever I was. So he was quite a bit older, and he, had, uh, and he spoke fluent French. Together we drove down, because we were racing most weekends in an HWM, and uh, I remember when we, we, went, we said to John Heath, who had a Citroen, uh, could we borrow your car just to go down to see somebody down in wherever it was? She said, OK, boys, but, you know, take it easy, which we did. Well, we didn't know much, because along the way in Coronation, was quite good fun. And he had a Citroen, which of course ate the front tyres. And when we got back to, to, to where John was, we realised, my God, both, both front tyres were bald, so we took them off and put them on the back, so he wouldn't see them. I don't know if he ever found out, actually. <laughs> and so, certainly, uh, King Gregor was, it was very much part of my life at that time. Yeah, he, he was, I guess he was one of the first managers. And mainly because he was a friend of mine and I needed, needed some help quite often. We go driving and got a long way to drive down to southern Italy. He'd drive a bit and I'd drive a bit and so on. So, yeah, but he was, he was, was my, he and my father together, really. Al Francis, yeah. Well, he, he was the, my, my top mechanical. He didn't work for me, I mean, but of the cars that I drove, which were HWM. And uh, he was a Polish guy and temperamental. And, uh, you know, if, if you said something out of place, he'd take his toolbox, throw it in the air and say, no, you can get it, you can do it all the way, but of course I couldn't. And uh, then he'd come back after, you know, half an hour, maybe a beer, and get on with it. He was quite, quite, a, <laughs> quite a character. Paul Basia, he was a polio victim. And, of course, he was, he was paralyzed, completely paralyzed, except, I think, for two fingers. And, and I think he could move his head. But uh, he, you know, he was I thought you know, he's so brave. I mean, to be only what was he, eighteen or nineteen, and this to happen. Uh, that uh, I thought, well, he's a fantastic man, and so I, I bought him a, 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 a well, what, what would be a sort of ambulance. So because he was, he, he wrote there was a book. He wrote a book I think called The Horizontal Man, and he of course couldn't move anything, and he was so brave. I mean, he'd come down to Goodwood. And I'd take him round and introduce him to drivers and this, that and the other. But um, I, I thought, you know, a fantastic way he lives and his acceptance of his problems. And Van Gio, the world champion. Well, I mean, he, he was world champion, what, three times. And I had great respect for him and what he achieved. And, uh, you know, it was quite, quite a thing for him to sort of sit down and be interviewed, I presume so you know, in Argentina, maybe. It had some good people on it. It was, you know, it was a, um, a, 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 a show that I really enjoyed watching as well as taking part in it. Quite, a, quite an honor, to be honest, because, I mean, a big, big uh, amount of the viewers would watch it. It was, it was a pretty, you know, with it sort of um, show. I enjoyed it because, I mean, it's, it's always nice talking about oneself. And so I quite enjoyed this sort of thing of, and seeing friends that I hadn't seen from, you know, quite a long time in some cases. Um, so, I'm, so I'm glad it happened.